Hello and welcome to the channel. President Tinubu has pleaded for Nigerians to sacrifice even more despite the ones with them they sacrifice already. He said the current hardship and sufferings being experienced is necessary. Short-term pain for long-term gain, hey? <laughs> but where we don't hear this kind comment before. Almost all of them before um. Now the people good to the sacrifice. Government no sabi sacrifice. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Current pains necessary, says Tinubu. Governors preach unity. President Bola Tinubu and state governors on Wednesday assured Nigerians that the economic pains and hardships they were facing will soon turn to prosperity. They said the current pains were necessary, noting that the people's sacrifices will pave the way for abundance and a better future for the country. Tinubu and the governors spoke in separate statements on the Salah celebrations across the country. Speaking in Lagos shortly after observing the heat prayers at the Obalende Muslim Prayer Ground, located near Dodan Barracks, the former seat of power in Lagos, the president said, We have to make the sacrifices, and that is clear. We have to. His message was contained in a statement signed by a special advisor on special duties, communication and strategy, Dele Olake. The statement was titled, Nigeria will experience peace, stability, and prosperity. President Tinubu declares at Lagos Heed Prayer Ground. Tinubu described the current economic hardships as a bearable burden, explaining that Allah will not give you a burden that you cannot carry. Therefore, he urged Nigerians to have faith in God that the country will experience peace, stability, and prosperity. I thank Almighty Allah for keeping us in good health till today and pray to Him to grant us robust health and prosperity. May our sacrifices turn to prosperity. We have to make the sacrifices and that is clear. But Allah will not give you a burden that you cannot carry. He is there for us. We must have faith in the country, have faith in ourselves, believing that as citizens of this country, we must join hands to build the nation. The president said he called for unity in the country, urging Nigerians not to allow their religious and tribal identities to overshadow their national identity. Tinubu also prayed for Nigerian troops on the front line in the fight against insurgency, saying it desires to see them emerge victorious. Nigeria will see peace, stability, and God will grant peace to those of us at the war front, he added. The heat prayer, which started at 9 a.m., was led by the chief imam of Lagos State, Sheikh Suleiman Abu Nola. The chief imam later performed the obligatory slaughtering of the ram at the heat prayer ground in celebration of the significance of the noble heart of Prophet Ibrahim in total obedience to Allah's command. Speaking on behalf of the Lagos State Governor, Babaji Desan Wolu, Deputy Governor Obafemi Hamzat, felicitated Muslims nationwide for the joy of the Hidya Kabil celebration, urging them to unite behind the president in his renewed hope agenda. We have to pray for our leaders. We must pray for our president that God should help him to succeed in the task before him, Amzad said. The prayer was attended by the chief of staff to the president, Femi Bajabi Amila, the national security advisor, Nuhu Ribadu, a former governor of Lagos State and immediate past Minister of Works and Housing, Mr. Babatunde Fashola, Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Mudashiru Obasa, among other top government officials and politicians. Meanwhile, governors and clerics have sued for peace and economic prosperity as Muslims converge on prayer grounds. In a solemn message, the Kogi State Governor Yahaya Bello charge the people of the state to be law-abiding and security conscious at all times. The governor gave the charge shortly after he observed the heat prayer at Okene, his country home. He charged the people of the state to respect constituted authority and promise to fulfill his promises of developing the state 
far better than he met it when he took over the leadership of the state in 2016. I thank God Almighty who has brought us thus far. This is my last time praying on this ground as a governor. I thank God for his protection, guidance, and the good health we have enjoyed throughout my tenure till date. I thank God that I was able to turn around the fortune of the state for better. Belo called on the citizens of the state to be patient with the current government of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, assuring that with perseverance, there are better days ahead under the current administration. The governor appealed to the chief imam of Ibira land, Sheikh Salihu Abere, to use his position as a religious leader to unite the people irrespective of belief, urging them not to allow anybody to derail him from performing his functions as chief imam. Ohinoyi of Ebira land, His Royal Highness Ado Ibrahim commended Belo for the developmental projects scattered across the states. Chief Imam Sheikh Salihu Abere in a sermon reminded Muslims to go closer to God through intensive prayer to enable them to enjoy God's favor. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Taraba State Governor Agbu Kefas called for prayers from the people of different faiths in the state to help in the actualization of a new Taraba. The governor, in a goodwill message to the Muslim faithful in the state on the occasion of the Eid Mubarak celebration, said a new Taraba is feasible if all people of all faiths intensify prayers, exhibit affection, and embrace one another as taught by both Islam and Christianity. In a press statement, Signed by the Governor's Chief Press Secretary, Mr. Yusuf Sanda, Kefas urged Tarabans and all Nigerians to learn from the season's teachings by being obedient, tolerant, exhibiting love, peace, and sacrifice in creating a new society, free from sentiment and division that all citizens will be proud of. In Katsina, the Hemi of Katsina, Dr. Abdul Mumin Kabir, joined other Muslims in the state to observe the Eid al-Kabir prayers at the Kofa Kuga prayer ground a few minutes after 9 in the morning. Governor Diko Rada was, however, absent at the prayer ground, although sources said he was not in the country. Security was beefed up at the prayer ground as security operatives mounted a military hammered personnel carrier and police anti-bomb vehicles at the entrance of the prayer ground. Dot the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.